We're so excited to announce the birth of our son, Israel David Dillard. He was born last night, April 6, 2015, at 11.49 p.m. And he weighs a whopping 9 pounds, 10 ounces, and he was 23 inches in length. And not everything went as expected, so we were reminded of the verse that the Bible talks about where man plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. We we're encouraged by that. Um, and yeah, he's just a handsome little fella, and we'd like everybody to stay tuned to TLC. Hey everyone, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Tuesday, May 23rd, 2023. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Well, I woke up to a message from a wonderful blogger and podcast host, Kate Casey, and she sent me her podcast that she did with the production of the Shiny Happy People, Duggar Family Secrets. And on her podcast, she shared that in the new reality in this new series that will feature jill duggar jill accuses her dad of forging contracts with tlc forcing her to turn over her birth videos that she had and forcing her to have her birth filmed despite wanting to keep the birth private of israel she also accused her dad of not paying her to this day for the birth footage or TLC paying her for the birth footage. So Jim Bob is forging documents for his kids so that he can make money. I think there's going to be a lot more of these kinds of accusations that come out in this podcast, in this docu-series. And that was one bombshell that I'm not shocked or actually that surprised happened because Derek Dillard has been alluding to this for years. So let's dive into this topic. Before we do, can you please do me a big favor and give this video a thumbs up? Also, please subscribe to my channel if you've not yet subscribed by clicking on the subscribe button down below. If you have not yet, uh, if you haven't yet, please leave a comment if you have something to say. Uh, share this video with your friends, and if you're one of those people that tunes in every day, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet already. I would love to see all of you. So, Kate. Casey has a podcast called Reality Life with Kate Casey, and she covers reality television and has been doing this on a podcast for years. She was able to get a chance to watch the series before it was actually released by Amazon, and in her podcast shared a couple little nuggets about what Jill revealed. And one of those things that she revealed was that Jill Dillard was forced by her dad to hand over footage from her birth and accused Jim Bob of forging her name on a contract with TLC that she says she didn't know anything about. Jill and Derek are filmed. And I have such great respect for her coming forward because it's obviously at the, at the, at the threat of losing connections to a lot of her siblings. They speak about how they were basically forced to give over footage of their the first child, the birth of their first child. And Jill believes that her signature was forged and also points out that they have not been paid. Jim Bob at some point pays a nominal fee. How has he not been, been taken to task for child labor law violations? You hear her say that Jill says in this documentary that she and Derek are basically forced to hand over the footage of their birth and had to have their labor filmed, even though they didn't want to, they wanted it to be private because of a contract that was signed with TLC regarding this footage that Jill believes her father forged because she doesn't believe she signed the contract. She doesn't believe that she signed over her rights and she says that she still has not been paid for the footage for her birth of Israel 
and that Jim Bob only paid a nominal fee to her after she and Derek had to hire an attorney. Kate asks the production about why Jim Bob has not been taken to task for child labor law violations. And under the law in the state of Arkansas, children that are performing on documentaries are not required to be paid. And family businesses have leeway in terms of how kids can help a family business. And there are no laws to protect children of reality television shows And there's no laws requiring that a child be paid for reality television. So a family would receive the fee. The contract is in Jim Bob's name. And the kids are viewed as sort of accessories, but not employees. And TLC is able to get away with it by not placing the minor children under contract. But rather, the parents are under contract. And then the parents are the ones that are left to pay the kids. And they're supposed to, but they don't. And the state of Arkansas does not require any money be set aside for a trust fund for the children for their working time. So the state of Arkansas has some of the laxest laws when it comes to child labor, and they actually just signed a law that makes it even easier for children to work by signed by Sarah Huckabee Sanders, who was father was part of the IBLP. So the question is why he hasn't been taken to task. Well, that's why. Their, the wage claim that Jill and Derek were able to bring against their father was for minimum wage because under the law, she was required to be paid at least minimum wage for her time. And in order to do that, they had to hire a lawyer to do that. Uh, but I guess, is it shocking to me to know that Jim Bob would potentially forge their names in order to get the footage? No. Is it shocking to me that Jill would be forced to hand over this footage? No. What would the incentive be for Jim Bob to do such a thing? Well, as far as I know, and as far as from what I've spoken to with people that are on reality television, uh, and I'd asked Derek at one point, does Jim Bob get paid more for births? And Derek said that he believes that Jim Bob earns a bonus or earned a bonus, though he didn't have the specifics because he wasn't under contract for births. And so it was an incentive for Jim Bob to get his adult children to have children and then have those births filmed. On top of that, weddings are also something that would get extra money. So someone that was friends with the Brown family was telling me from Sister Wives that they were told by Cody or someone within this, that system that they get a bonus of like thirty to $40,000 for a wedding and that is to help pay for the wedding. And so they can decide to use that money for the wedding or they can pay for the wedding themselves and then get the bonus. And Jim Bob would do the bare minimum and he would spend, he would get tons of volunteers. He would not spend a lot of money on these weddings. He didn't have people eat and he would pocket the difference. So the girls brought in huge ratings with their weddings and yet made no money off of it. Am I shocked to hear her say that she wasn't paid? No. Am I shocked to hear that she was forced to hand over the birth contracts? No. Derek has actually been uh, speaking about this on social media for quite some time. Uh, He actually said that in 2019, with regard to like them leaving the show, he said TLC wouldn't release us from a bogus contract that we weren't even aware of. So Derek has been alluding to this contract that has been out there that was signed without their knowledge or without their consent and that TLC was using this contract as a means to like hold them to like responsibilities within the show. Derek has also said that he and Jill for the longest time had no idea that Jim Bob was being paid for the show. So over on Instagram, he said, for a long time, Jill and I were under the impression that the family didn't make any money from the show, but rather it was presented to us kids as something that was done as a ministry that TLC periodically subsidized in the form of reimbursements for things like gas, restaurants, travel, etc., but not any actual pay on top of that. So they were presented to this by Jim as this is our family ministry that we're doing to spread the word of God and we'll get paid to do events and that's it. But we don't get paid by the show. So all those trips that they were going on were like reimbursements, but not getting paid, which is false because Jim Bob 
on top of the reimbursements for all of the episodes, was getting an episodic fee of anywhere from twenty-five dollars to $40,000 per episode. And when Jill and Derek tried to push back about their involvement in the show, he says that threats were made. So in another comment on Instagram, he said, we were made to believe that we didn't have a choice and that we were we would be sued if we refused. However, once we became more enlightened, we realized that we could easily defend ourselves in a lawsuit from the family against the family and TLC. Now, they actually were never sued by Jim Bob. They never sued Jim Bob and they never sued TLC. I asked Derek how they ended up getting paid and he said that they filed a wage claim. And under the law in Arkansas, you are entitled to be paid at least minimum wage, regardless of what it is that you're doing. And if an employer does not pay you, you can file a claim. A lot of people assumed because the show was Jill and Justice counting on and then it would change to counting on that Jill would have automatically had a contract with the, with the network. And again, on Instagram, Derek said, because it's their show when talking about coding, counting on. So the show was not their show. It was Jim, Bob and Michelle's. And he said, we were only making guest appearances over the years for weddings, births, etc. And we never had any contact with TLC, hence not knowing there was a contract. Nobody from TLC has even mentioned to us that they would prefer that we say what we say or not say. So he said that they have no contact with TLC. They're not in contact with TLC. There's a contract that he knows nothing about, but it's in his father-in-law's name. People assumed that Derek and Jill were making a ton of money on the show and they were not being paid. And other people on the show, he says, were being pressured by Jim Bob to stay on the show and threatened if they didn't do so. So when it came to the other siblings that were still staying on the show, Derek said, if it's the same way as it was for us, the others may be pressured into submission with threats of lawsuits too deep into it, dependent or something else like that to speak up. So one of the biggest issues was that others in the family weren't saying anything. And that was because he was saying that the kids were being threatened and Jim Bob would be very hostile when they would try to speak about it. And when it comes to something else that Derek posted, this was around the time of Josh's conviction and Jim Bob running for office during Josh's trial and in that special election. Derek said this, it's sad that this isn't an isolated incident. I used to have much respect for Jim Bob as my father-in-law, and I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt for years. Unfortunately, it's only become clear to us over time just how deep this man's manipulation and deceit will go for his own gain at the expense of others. He has lied to my wife and I numerous times. Contrary to his campaign, he does not believe in freedom, but his manipulation has resulted in what is akin to human trafficking. When confronted privately, he is not humble, but he is defensive and verbally abusive. When he says he cannot be bought, the truth is he has a history of being a sellout to anything that he can personally profit from, and he will justify it however he wants to continue his personal agenda. Again, he has lied and continues to lie to his best friends and his own family. He will lie to you. So Derek says, and likens their time on counting on and to what Jim Bob is doing to his kids as akin to human trafficking because they're working, they were working on a show and not being paid. And this is a huge problem that isn't at all isolated to the Duggars. This happens to a lot of children on reality television shows, specifically in states where there's not a requirement that the kids are paid because there are, again, no unions. Reality TV does not fall in the in the world of SAG, where they have unions for children performers and requirements for time on set and tutoring and pay and all of that. Reality television is considered like documentaries. And as a documentary series, they're not technically have to be paid because in reality, a lot of documentarians don't pay subjects. Like their subjects for this reality docu-series that Amazon's putting out were not paid to share their stories. This idea that they weren't paid, I don't think should shock anyone. I think what shocks me, though, is that I had always been under the belief that they had maybe signed a contract like in duress, like maybe Jim, ha Jim Bob had handed them a contract when they weren't paying attention. 
And Derek had mentioned something along the lines of like when they were doing their wedding, there was something that they needed to sign. And that was something I thought might have just been for all things, but maybe that was just for the wedding. But when it comes to this contract for their birth stuff, they're saying we never signed anything. And Jill saying my signature was forged. So Jim Bob is telling his kids that they have to give over their footage. TLC believes that they've signed things and the kids are having to hand over the most intimate parts of their lives, regardless if they want to, because Jim Bob wants to make money and profit off of it. I don't know about you, uh, but for me, when I was in labor, I didn't want anyone there. I didn't film it. I didn't want to remember it. I was sick. I didn't feel good. I was, you know, I was, it's, the way that they make birth appear when they film it on these birth videos and on television, everything always seems so seamless. And if you've been a part of a labor where it's not seamless, you don't want memory of that. Jill was in labor for 70 hours and had lots of complications. And all of this was used for Jim Bob to make money. Not to mention, this is all coming out in 2015, right? Uh, on May 5th, they said that this aired. N weeks later, weeks later, literally, Josh Duggar is the, the report comes out from In Touch about what Josh had done to his sisters. The police investigation is released. And this happens within, I believe, a few weeks after Israel was born, or f a few weeks after the birth of Israel was announced. And then the show was put on hold and then they decided to bring it back as Jill and Jessica counting on. When they brought it back though, they didn't change the contracts and the contract remained in Jim Bob's name. TLC will not be tasked to do the right thing until there's laws in place that make it so that they can't do these things. We can't hold people accountable to pay their children if under the law they're not required to. We can't force states to protect children unless there's people that are willing to go to the Capitol to speak to their representatives to protect children. And when you look at the state of Arkansas, they're literally signing legislation just this year, making it easier for children to be working as minors, less restriction for minor children, less restrictions for child labor. I mean, it's like we're going back into the 1800s. Jud Mob under the law, wasn't necessarily breaking the law. Under the law, though, he can't do that to his adult children. Under the law, ch the adults have to be paid for work. And so if they believe they have a contract or if TLC has a contract in their name, and the thing is with these family contracts that will never make sense to me is that TLC signs a contract or a lot of these networks sign a contract with the, the patriarch or the main person. And then it's that person's responsibility to pay everyone under the LLC. So the network gets a lump sum, pays it out to Duggar Mad Family, whatever their company was. And then Jim Bob was supposed to divvy that money out to the people involved on the show. But he wasn't doing that. And all of that money went to him. And so all of his kids now were made famous on the show. Their entire lives were filmed. And they don't have anything to show for that. So... The kids don't have nest eggs. They don't have, they might have been gifted a home. They might have been gifted, you know, thrown things here and there. But when you actually look at the assets of Jim Bob, it's all in his name. Not even Jed owns his house. The home that Jed lives in is owned by his father. All of the kids are living on property associated with the Duggars, other than the girls at this point, and Justin, who lives in Texas but all the other kids are living on property, properties associated with the Duggars. So Jim Bob has so much control over their lives, over their assets, over where they live, over how they live, that the kids are very much like in a cult-like environment. And under their belief system are taught that they have to obey their authority. And so as adults, they don't know any better because they've been kept isolated and they're brainwashed and Jim Bob is so manipulative and so controlling and as Derek says, will threaten people to do what he wants or silence them. It's 
you have to understand that like for Jill to speak out like this, she is risking a lot. But I want to reemphasize that if you're not familiar with the story, Jill has already been estranged with her family. She already has fractured relationships with them. And it's been like this for years. None of this will be new. And it's not going to further damage relationships by her doing this. She's already been labeled dangerous by her father. She has already been outcast and labeled un, not allowed at the Duggar family home. There's nothing that's going to change in regards to that. And Jill being shunned and risking relationships for her isn't even necessarily like a bad thing because she's at a space where she's already set up boundaries and said like, I can't do this anymore for my own sanity. So if you're not familiar with it, you know, you'll look at it and be like, this is really brave of her. Yes, it is very brave of her. But at the same time, just remember that she's been doing this for years. And yes, this puts things on a whole different level because now she's on a show that will be forever, you know, available to stream online where she speaks out against what her father has done and really will like reveal in a docu-series her experience on the show and expose TLC and her dad. And so then when the show is going on the air and when you're watching it and you see all the footage and all of the videos going out and all of the, the publicity about this, pay attention to what the Duggar kids are doing. Are they posting videos? Are they trying to get you to look at their family like it's all hunky-dory? Are they gonna tell you to watch their new video on YouTube? Are they gonna post things like of all the kids together? Are the kids gonna try to get together with Jill? Probably, they're gonna try to make this look so deflective, like everything that Jill is saying is false because Jim Bob is gonna try to overwhelm the media with other content so you ignore what's happening on the documentary. That's what he's done for years. That's what I've seen in my professional opinion. And you're going to start to see that. And I've already seen it. James just tried to post something from Switzerland. He just put out a video about Switzerland. Joy's got her birth stuff going on. She's doing vlogs all the time. They're all a cog in Jim Bob's wheel. And all of the ones that are under his control are going to do what he says. And they'll say that they're doing it on their own. But that's not how it works. The only one that's really free from Jim Bob are, is Jill. Amy and Deanna. The rest of them, even Ginger, are still dealing with his manipulation and fear. So what are your thoughts about this? Tell me in the comments below. Bye guys.